Hello everybody and welcome to Enter the Gungeon, A Farewell to Arms. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to unlock the alternate skins for the character's starting weapons. Each character has their own unique starting weapon and it's as simple as killing the past for each character while wearing their alternate costume. Their alternate costumes, as you can see, respectively, we have the Knight for the Marine, we have the Kurt for the Pilot, we have the Furiosa style... Um, modern sci-fi one for this we have the bunny for the bullet uh we have the skull head for the robot i'm gonna go through each of these here um we have the dog sort of wolf one for this character and like i said about the pilot as well this one here um, and each one has their own respective ones and to unlock each costume you have to have beaten the past of each character uh, and once you've beaten the past of each character you can then equip that alternate costume beat the past again and then you will have unlocked the the alternate uh, the alternate costume for the for the weapon so we'll see one here if we go into this run here we go up to the shrine you do it on a character that you completed on use alternate starting gun you'll get the small animation and if we run up here go into a run you will see that we have an alternate starting pistol it's always the gun that has infinite ammo so it's not going to work with the sawn off and it's not going to work with the crossbow as you can see but our pistol now has an alternate skin and it also has an alternate fire as you can see it actually has a uh, purple bullets now and is sort of a more silvery sort of platinum color uh, i don't believe the statistics of the actual weapons are changed at all you can correct me if i'm wrong but i do i do believe the statistics are exactly the same as they normally are apart from currently i believe there is a bug with the uh the carrot sword for blasphemy but that's just a very quick tutorial on how to unlock those just to go over that one more time you need to complete the pass for each character unlock the alternate skin equip the alternate skin and then beat the character again for each character for each of their respective weapons once you've done that you can go up to the shrine and equip that at any time on any run and i believe once you've equipped it once it stays equipped i don't believe it needs to be re-equipped although i may be wrong on that it's uh it may be similar to the costume where you do have to re-equip it i hope this guy i hope this helped you out i hope this little guide helped you and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one